Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of bad news to talk about for Dragon Ball 2024. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. I'm not at my normal location. I'm currently on a business trip. So as you can see, you can't see my face. This is not my normal setup, but we're gonna get it on and popping. So as you can see, the tweet that I have up here right now, the video archives announcement will be posting videos of some of the stage programs through or official our official YouTube channel once the event is over. Stay tuned, subscribe our subscribe to our channel. This is horrible. This is actually bad. Um, they are probably going to cancel Dragon Ball Battle Hour because obviously they do not care about the reach when it comes to how much success they can bring to this franchise that it already is successful. If they would simply live stream this event and have everybody view the things at the same time. Now, what I do think that they're doing here and this this is why i don't necessarily think this is entirely bad news the only thing i feel like this is bad news for is the fact that we can't see this live but what i do think now is going to eliminate is that when they do drop the trailer it'll eliminate all those extra uh how do you say unquality videos that you would see around the first like few hours of the when the announcement goes live it's usually a screen recording a content creator reacting to it or you know you have to get it from like the stream and your screen record something like that i think it eliminates a little bit of those issues um that way people can get an hd version right off the bat Again, granted, you have to wait until the battle hour is over. So I am pretty sure that we're still going to get something at battle hour, but it'll be from like a screen recording or like a video recording like you would usually see, like we saw with Cell Max and uh, Beast Gohan when that DLC got uh, released at battle hour. We didn't see anything until after it ended a couple days and we got the video from some random guy that was in the crowd. So... I honestly think that this can eliminate some of those issues where we can just kind of, when the event is over, we don't even have to watch the whole thing anymore. We just wait, okay, event's over, go on YouTube, look for the videos. You know what I'm saying? I think it makes it, I do think it makes it easier, but I think it's still a bad idea because it, it does limit the reach because now people are just going to wait until the trailer comes out. Some people aren't even going to wait for Battle Hour to be over. They're just going to go about their day and then when they see the trailer online, they'll react to it. Battle Hour is kind of for our way to kind of convene in one spot and be like, okay, yeah, hey, you're free this time, you're free this time, let's just watch this and see what's going on and go about our day. Now, people are just gonna probably not going to care about it, and they're just going to go about their day, and when the trailer drops, the trailer drops. Another thing I think that we're trying to do is maybe they're trying to do something like GTA, where uh, they drop the trailer and they're trying to aim for a big, big, big overload of, of, of you know, views on the video. And I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if they're trying to go for, like, a world record or anything, but I've feel like they're trying to go for a big number of views on the video which again i don't know that point right there is kind of like why as i'm speaking about it is kind of like steering me a, a bit because now it's like well if that was the case then all the other trailers that they dropped while battle hour was streaming um they wouldn't have done well either so i don't know they all all the trailers do well even if they're streamed at battle hour or not so i don't know guys this this just it takes out the fun it takes out the the feel uh, it takes out the purpose of like, you know, people don't, don't have the means to travel there. It takes them out of it and it makes us disconnected. And I feel like that was a whole problem with uh, when Akio, uh, when he, you know, the, the new exec executive producer, I feel like he was trying to emphasize that that was a problem, that that was a main problem, that we weren't reaching the next generation because simply because we weren't streaming. We weren't, they weren't broadcasting they weren't telling anybody about their projects they weren't showcasing it so that they can build hype and um i guess people could argue hey you, they are going to showcase guys calm down calm down they're going to show it after battle hour it's only an hour and 30 minutes i get it like I, like i get it i get both sides i'm not even for me this video isn't to say oh my gosh we're doomed oh my gosh we're never gonna yeah we're, we're gonna regardless of what three things are gonna happen we're gonna get information on sparking zero we're going to get information on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and hopefully we're going to get information on, on Z Universe 2. Like, either way, we're going to get information. So that's out of the question. So either way, it's not like, oh, we you know, we're not going to get it. It's just that when we're getting it and how how we're getting it. We wanted to see it live and be able to experience it with our friends. You know, some of us are going to get on Discord. Um, so stuff like that. So, I mean, I guess, again, it makes it a little bit more easier because now can, I can just load up the video and react to it for you guys, and we can just kind of do that and it doesn't have to be a live stream thing i don't have to go back and clip my live stream you know what i'm saying it, it eliminates some problems it does it, i don't have to go back and clip the live stream i don't have to go back and 
Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of just find a video and react to it, you know. So I get the, I get the, I don't. Again, I'm not saying this as if this is their reasoning. I'm just trying to put a reason to it because, other than that, it doesn't seem logical. Why would you just live stream it at this day and age, 2024? You still holding live events, like offline events? Like, come on, it's 2024. Like, chill out. Anyway, that's all I really had to say on this. Uh, like I said, I'm on a business trip, so I won't be posting as much. But if you guys, I, I ain't stopping me. The news comes out. News have to be covered. Good luck on this video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to give some more Dragon Ball Battle Hour content. I guess, I don't know. It's just Dragon Ball content. It really is kind of disappointing. <laughs> Peace.